Rejoice, because Tenkaichi 4 is here, and its name is Sparking Zero. I am hyped about this game. It's been out for a little over three weeks now, and it is definitely Tenkaichi 4. It is the continuation of the series in 2024, and they've done a splendid job. Over 180 characters, even though majority of them are Goku and Vegeta. But we're going to check it out today, and I'm going to give you an overview of what's going on here. I am going to show you all the characters. I'm going to show you the level select screen. I'm going to show you the main menu and what each of those menus have to offer. And then we're going to wrap up the the video by checking out a couple fights a story mode fight a custom fight and that should about do it to give you an idea of what you can find in this game so check the chapters down below to find out a quick access menu of what you can see in this video and of course like comment subscribe dude it all helps the algorithm and it definitely helps me but let's hop in so, starting out, you got your little menu here. It's nothing more than just when you boot up the game. And we're going to hop into my game. So, one fun thing is each of the menus are interactive. I mean, look at it. You have all the classics in one picture. It is their super forms, of course. But you got Goten and Trunks playing video games. Chi-Chi and Bulma hanging out. You got Wiz just hanging out. Vegeta being a fucking loner, as always. <laughs> Beerus just being a relaxed god, just trying to get that food. But what I like is you have Pilaf, Mai, and I always forget his name, but the little dog guy, just hanging out, just being there. It's cool. But from this menu, main menu, you have episode battle and custom battle. Episode battle is your story mode, goes through all the canon. Then you have custom battle, which is a unique feature to Sparking Zero that allows you to create custom storylines for characters. It's not perfect, but it's a very fun idea and start. And I'll tell you this, after Dragon Ball Fusions, this series is known for doing wacky things. All right, let's move to the battle and training menu. Goku's flying off to the World Martial Arts Tournament, and I love it. So. From here, you can do a battle, just a regular battle, maybe versus two player versus a computer, just to kind of do your own thing. You got super training where you can go in, train with Piccolo as <laughs> Gohan and learn all the moves of Sparking Zero. And you need to do it too, because even though it is based on the Tenkaichi gameplay, you'll be able to pick it up and go, but a lot of things have changed and it's hard as shit. So you need to know what to do. And to finish it off, you have World Tournament. We all know about it. You have online, you have offline. Go in, play against people, pick your favorite character, and see how far you can get in the classic style. Moving forward, we have Challenges and Missions. It has an O. Now, I am not super up to date with Super, so not all of these characters mean as much to me. But you have two things here. And this right here is Challenge Missions, right? It's the mini accomplishments to get here so like with the stamp book stamp book allows you to get a lot of money or even dragon balls and this is just a great way to level up so we just got a shinron token so we're going to back out of this but doing special blast 2 doing all these special missions will allow you to get a lot of money which you can use in the shop all right so let's go to zeno's orders goku you always want to hang out all right, so in Zeno's Orders, this is where you collect the prizes. I have a ton to collect. This is good news. All right, so I got the Earth Rated Saiyan. I used Sparked Mode 10 times, so I got some money. I got the Four Star Dragon Ball. I got Silver Gogeta, Super Saiyan Trunks, Super Saiyan 3 K GT Goku. So I got some stuff. Okay, so now we're going to back out of here. So you just go through, do different challenges, little accomplishments, and get paid for it. That takes us to shop and customize. So, of course, we're on Roshi's Island. It looks awesome. I love how everyone's just hanging out lounging. You got Roshi over there reading a motor magazine. But let's be real here. He's a pervert. He's reading porn. We know it. But let's check out player card really quick. Anyone seen launch around lately? No, launch, unfortunately, like a lot of Dragon Ball characters, has been forgotten. Oh, there's just too many to keep track of. All right, so this is your player card. This is what all the other fighters are going to see. You pick your background for it. You pick your favorite fighter. You pick the playtime you're usually available for matches. Your favorite mode, your favorite background music, your favorite stage. It's cool. 
I am a Trunks fan myself. I love Trunks. I've always been a fan. So that's the character I have for the moment. If we back out of here, we have Shop and Customize. Both of these, of course, are great options. We're going to start out with Customize. So in the customization screen, this is primarily based around picking your favorite fighter and you can customize them with status buffs. So if we go to Goku Super Saiyan 4, we click on him, we can get different outfits. I don't even know if there's actually any outfits for Super Saiyan 4, but if you can find them, then you can equip them. You can also get him new emotes, sparking background music when he goes into sparking mode, which is a new mode in this, or fusion. You can turn that on or off. Gogeta Super Saiyan 4, why would you not want that? But it just allows you to, oh my god, I forgot one feature. It allows you to also equip ability items so you can up their attack power or their maximum health to make them the best online version of them that they can be so you can have the ultimate fighter, right? So if we back out of here, it's going to take us back out to Roshi reading his porn. And we're going to go into the shop. The shop really brings me back. I love this feature. You don't see it in a lot of modern day games where you can use the money that you acquire to, of course, buy status buffs. So you can enhance your online character, buy new characters. And this is not all the characters that you can get, right? You have to unlock a lot of them from other different situations, but quite a bit you can buy. And it's pretty cool. Then, of course, there's different outfits. And this is where you can kind of see them taking some deep cuts into the series at special outfits. But there's also a lot of them that were not presented. And one of the ones, because modders have, of course, taken the scene by storm, already added into the game are Goku and Piccolo's outfits from when they tried to get driver's licenses. Which, dude, that's just such a fun deep cut. One of my favorite things of the Dragon Ball Z world, especially Dragon Ball, is how outrageous it goes because they want you to really know these characters so you get a connection with them but in here we got great saiyaman when he first starts out we of course have krillin with hair we have old school yamcha trunks just taking off the jacket the dell from day one we have jackie chun for roshi we got rikum just blown to bits it's cool man like they have a lot of good outfits you can get new voice lines for emotes so we can play it. Last was mm. for all my friends. Yeah, it was. Get new background music, sometime. new strategy items. Don't really know what these are, but they alter the way battles shape out. Oh, yeah. I've got and new player cards. So this way you can come in and get a new background for your player card. It's kind of cool. But that's the shop. Now from there, we're going to run over to Gallery. Gallery is cool. Takes us to Hercule's house, dude. Who does not want to be in here? And then you got Videl there from Super just hanging out. Boo snoring up a storm behind my face. Sorry about that. All right, Videl's answering her phone. And we get to go to Encyclopedia. Dude, I love this so much. This is one of the best features that I've seen in the whole game. So you can go through and look at all the characters from the game, right? Look at their model. So, like, let's go to Goku Teen, right? If you notice, there's an option in the bottom right. Press square for girl talk. Watch this. It's for every character. Aw, Goku was a little cutie when he was this age, wasn't he? Love it. This is what my husband looked like when we first met as little kids. Goten is the spitting image of him. Isn't yeah, he is. He just really is. How shocked I was when I met somebody with a tail for the first time. <laughs> yeah. This is such a nostalgic look for him. I love it. They just, they go down memory lane on some of them. They talk shit about others. I uh, Let's go do Broly really quick, just because Broly is always a fun one to see. He's way down here, though. Actually, let's do this. Max Power Roshi. What's your girl talk? When the turtle hermit drops the perversion and gets serious, <laughs> to handle turning Goku, he'd have to be. He always gave it his all. He did. It be when Frieza came to Earth or at the tournament of power. He does, man. Roshi he cares. Different compared to when he's relaxing at Kame House. Yeah, he gets ripped, dude. All right, and then let's do Broly and we'll call it. But yeah, it's just a fun little feature, dude. You can just have them chat about everybody. Let's do it. Oh, look at him. Those muscles are ridiculous in size. He certainly looks strong. He looks awesome. So, is this different from a regular Super Saiyan form? Yeah. Way, he looks dangerous. And he is dangerous. But yeah, dude, what a cool little feature. 
Fidel, Chi-Chi, Bulma, just talking shit, reminiscing about characters. You can just go down the whole list. It's really cool. It's a nice touch. All right, so we're going to get out of here. Now, we also have my data. This is just your stats from the game. How many characters you've unlocked, how many hits you've had, how many battles you've done, so on and so forth. Your most used character. So yeah, it just shows your player level, your record, icon title, text tile. It, it just has a little bit of everything so you can keep track of everything you've accomplished. And then we finish it up with theater. Theater allows you to watch your saved replays. It allows you to watch movies you've collected and background music that you've collected and just listen to it. We'll play one. We're going to play Mr. Satan's house. It's so good. And maybe Kami house. Oh, baby. All right. So enough of that. And then we have come forth Shenron. So you can summon Shenron, Paranga, or Super Shenron. It grants wishes, giving you certain characters or abilities or outfits. Just fun stuff. But you got and you collect them by, you know, just doing random little things here and there. Okay. So now here's what we're gonna do. Okay, see you around. I'm gonna show you the character select screen and the level select screen. Then we're gonna do a story mode battle, and then we're gonna finish that out by going into a custom battle. And that should wrap it up. But before we do this, I wanna show you one thing. The actual menu. Controls and camera, sound, language, brightness, graphics. Now, one thing to note, I actually had to re-record this. I had HDR on, and HDR by itself causes weird issues where it's way too saturated, the bloom is high as fuck, and it makes the picture kinda of awkward. So I had to turn it off for this. But in graphics, you have a lot of options. Screen type all the way down, anti-aliasing texture, depth of field. It offers a bunch of things. And then of course, high dynamic range for HDR. So something just fun to keep in mind. All right, let's just go ahead and look at everything we got here. I'm gonna give this one my best shot. Give it your all. Starting out, we have the level select screen. You can change the rules of the match from time limit, reflectability items, select CPU level to make them harder, and battle rules, either team or DP which is power level. So what this means is this is not a competitive game. This is not meant to have a competitive scene because not every fighter is equal like past Dragon Ball Z games. Instead, it is lore accurate, meaning a Cyberman going up against Gogeta is gonna die. They have less health, less power, less defense because they're not the same warrior. So yeah, they, they keep it lore accurate here. It's kind of a double-edged sword because you're gonna kind of get fucked going up against the uh, high-ranking characters versus a low-ranking. Even if the low-ranking's your favorite. Like, I love Master Roshi, but I can't use him in a competitive scene unless I get really fucking good at the game to back up those skills. Otherwise, people are just gonna pounce on me. But you can also choose your background music and we're gonna choose our stage though. So you got Planet Namek, it looks great. You got the open field and an open field, you have evening and night version and there's an evening and night version for a lot of these. So Rocky Land looks great. The city looks awesome. Followed by city daytime cloudy, evening, world tournament, world tournament, no crowd. This is interesting because when there's no crowd and you can, <laughs> This is a fun thing. You can actually clear out the crowd and then you can go fly around the stage and just see all the vendors, the backdrops. You can leave that area. It makes it so much bigger, which I think is a cool feature. Termin of power, hyperbolic time chamber, and just a heads up. There is local multiplayer on this. It's one-on-one -on -one only, and it's only in hyperbolic time chamber, which eh, they'll probably add on to in the future, but for now, it's still cool being able to play on the couch with a friend. And hyperbolic time chamber makes you feel like you're training together. All right, we have land of the Kais, islands, making that water look glorious, evening, night, cell games arena, evening, night, city ruins, and destroyed planet Namek. All right, we're going to go to the city for the moment. Yeah, we'll go during the day. And let's look at the character select screen. It's what we all wanted to see, what we're all hyped about. So here, I just have regular Goku, right? So, this is the D... Oh, I didn't change that DP setting, but it's fine. So it shows their DP level, right? 
So I'm going to just go through the list. We're not going to go too hardcore. You know a lot of these characters. So starting out, we have Goku from early days in Z. He can only go up to Kaioken. So got the mid. This allows him to go up to Super Saiyan, which is about the Frieza arc. Moving into the end, so Cell, Android Saga, Majin Buu Saga allows him to go through Super Saiyan 1, 2, and of course 3. Then you got Goku Super, which allows him to go to Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Of course, there is also Ultra Instinct. Both versions. Then you got GT Goku. I'm a fucking fan of GT Goku. I love GT. I know it's not canon. I know it's not a big fan favorite, but I love it. It's short. It's sweet. It's a whole new adventure. It gives you a new look at the characters. It's a little silly, but dude, I love it. It's the perfect mixture of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball into one new journey. And on top of that, you get Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku, which looks fucking dumb. But you also get Super Saiyan 4, which... My opinion, I like it better than Super Saiyan God, than Super Saiyan Blue. I like him way better. He looks fucking sick. He looks truly like the next evolution. Then we got Kid Goku. And then an upcoming DLC, we have Kid Goku from Daima. But then we have Vegeta Scouter. Early day Z. You can be his grade 8 form and he'll fuck you up. Then we of course have Early Day Z including Super Vegeta, so stupid, just got steroids pretty much, followed by End Z Vegeta, who goes all the way up through Super Saiyan 2, and Majin Vegeta, my personal favorite version. I love that M, I love his attacks, it was awesome. Then we go into Super Vegeta, who of course goes up to Super Saiyan God, followed by Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, and they have Super Saiyan 4 as well. Vegeta looks so stupid, though. Ever since I was a kid, I hated the fact that he had such a scrunched up face and then a big ass forehead taking up the rest of the real estate. And then when he get, became number four, his big pointy hair just gives him a mullet. But whatever. We got Bull Cut Gohan to start it out as a kid. Then we got Teen Gohan. I love that hair. All the way up to Super Saiyan 2, which launched a whole new thing in the Dragon Ball Z universe. He looks so sick as this. We, of course, got Adult Go adult Gohan up to Super Saiyan 2. Great Saiyan man! And then we got Ultimate Gohan. But, of course, let's not forget Future Gohan. Missing that arm. Or Super Saiyan Future Gohan came in to whoop ass. Followed, of course, by all the Piccolos. Nail. Rest in peace, buddy. We got Krillin, who's just Krillin. You can get a different outfit form, of course. Put that hair on him. Yamcha, Tien, Trunks, Super Saiyan Trunks with that sword, Ponytail Trunks, and then Super Saiyan Ponytail Trunks, <laughs> and then Super Trunks. Dude, this made me laugh so hard as a kid. He just gets roided up, gets these huge gorilla muscles, his hair gets thicker. It's not even the fact that it's longer. It is, but it's just thicker and flies higher. It was so dumb, but it, it was still cool. Then we got Trunks from Super. He's really cool. He, I might like him better than regular Trunks. Kid Trunks, Super Saiyan, Goten. Super Saiyan Goten. We got Vegito. Super Saiyan Vegito. Super Saiyan God Vegito. Followed by Gogeta after death. Gogeta Super, Gogeta Super Saiyan, Gogeta Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, looking beast, I fucking love this one, Gotenks, all the Gotenks, Classic Videl, Master Roshi, looking jacked, all the Freezes of course, including Mecha Frieza, Super Frieza, Gold Frieza, all the Cells, including Cell Jr. We got Fat Boo, Evil Boo, Kid Boo, all the Super Boo variations, including Gohan, Gotenks, and Regular. Then we got Hercule, Chaozu, Yajirobe, bringing it back, Pan, Oob, Maju, Turles, or oh, my bad, Bardock, 
Raditz, Cyberman, Nappa, Zarbon, Super Zarbon looking ugly. Theodoria, didn't really like him that much. Kui, which I forget about all the time, not that important of a character. King Cold looking dope. And then the Ginyu Force with Goldo, Joyce, Berta, Rikum, and Captain Ginyu. I love the fucking Gengi Force, dude. They're so swagged out. All right, then we got all the androids. Android 16, Peaceful Man right there. Android 17 from Z and Super. 18, I hated Android 19. His stupid pointy helmet, his creepy voice. Ugh. Dr. Jero looking like he shouldn't be alive. I know he's an android, but still old as fuck. Got my man Broly in all his glorious forms. Got Frieza Soldier, just cuz. Debora, who I think we all had a love-hate relationship with because it seemed basic to love him, but I loved his design. I just hated him. We have Bobbity, who I'm a fan of them putting in here just because he's such a silly character to have, but he's really cool. Then, of course, we got all the Brolies from Super looking dope in that Bardock armor. Super Garlic Jr. calling back to the movies. Dr. Wheelow from the movies. Turles from the movies. Starting over here with Lord Slug. Big ass Lord Slug. Cooler, I love Cooler. Final Form Cooler. Metal Cooler. Android 13, who I like just because he was unique at least. Fusion Android 13 was really unique. I thought he was really cool. Bojack. Full power Bojack. Of course, Janemba in his child mascot form and his really dope outfit or regular form. We got Tapion, which is Dragon Ball Z's Link with his own Ganondorf, Harutagarn. Followed by all the babies of Baby Vegeta, Super Baby, Super Baby 2, and Grade 8 Baby. And let's not miss GT without, of course, having Shenron. Omega Shenron. Followed by some super characters I'm not a fan of. Not Spobovich. I know he's from Majin Arc, but we're about to get into super characters. Beerus and Wiz, of course, who I love both of them. They're great from the movie. Goku Black. Super Saiyan Rose. And then all the super characters. Zamasu. Fuse Zamasu. Mutated Zamasu. Hit. Frost. Kaba. Super Saiyan Kaba. Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. Caulifla. Going up to Super Saiyan 2. Kale. Who then gets jacked as fuck for Super Saiyan Berserk Kale. Regular Super Saiyan Kale. And just going through Kefla, all the characters, finishing up with some Jiren, and some Topo, Dipso, Bergamo, who's the furry paradise, Ribrion, don't know who that is, and Kakunza, and Alaza, who looks really dope, and Rosie. Yeah, Rosie. See, dude, it's a huge selection of characters, and they're not even done. They have a lot more coming. All right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you some fights. We're going to go through a story fight, and then we'll try out one custom fight and call it. Let's so let's do episode battle. We, Lord now, you, of course, can choose from quite a few stories. We have Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Frieza... Goku Black even. And then, yeah, just can and I've been playing Goku story. Let's um Let's do uh Let's do Goku Black. We'll do that as our first fight. Puny mortals. Your judgment is at hand. Yeah, it is. Flying off into space, into the timeline. Feeling like Xenoverse 2 over here. Oh shit, we got a story going. I 
I don't know a lot about Goku Black, so this is fun. Goku Black and Zamasu attempt to destroy all of humanity for the Zero Mortal Plan, but end up in heated combat with Trunks along with the Goku and Vegeta brought from the past of a different world. Realizing their prey have escaped back to their own time, Goku Black and Zamasu follow them to their world. I see you have returned, dear Saiyan. Yep, you gotta have that voice Thanks acting. To you, my power will only grow to greater heights. Mm-hmm. Goku and the others believe Goku Black is a puppet created by the Dragon Balls. But in reality, he is another Zamasu who swapped bodies with Goku in a different universe. Not only are Goku Black and Zamasu still alive, but the former is inhabiting Goku's true body. Goku Black and Zamasu, seeking further strength, attack our baffled heroes in the hopes of cornering them further. And then it just goes straight into it. He doesn't. Not even what a god did in the so I am not that great at this game, just letting you know. I've still got a lot of practice to go. It's hard, as I told you. There we go. Get wrecked. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other oh, words, look at that slice and dice! In this reality you see as an alternate future, I was floundered. Oh! I lacked the will to act. Let's get this black Kamehameha. Box of rings, this parallel future existed. So I need to forge my alliance. Oh, I got him! He didn't even stand a chance on that. Oh, I got it down now. All right, let's get this ultimate going. Oh, time for the godly black Kamehameha wave. Right here. Here it comes. Oh, I got him. Look at this scythe coming in hot. Oh, I just tore a hole in the fabric of reality. Oh, he's... Oh, you don't have a chance. I am the strongest. Got him. Oh, I missed. Right here. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, I get to beat Trunks too? Yeah, I can do that. Do I have anybody I can switch to? No. So I can't switch anybody right now. All right, we'll do it then. Oh, he got me. Think you are capable of reaching this level of power. Come on. Get back up. Are we just going all the way? I'm going to get him, though. I'm probably about to miss. Dude, I'm going to fucking miss. I did it too early. I did it too early. However, he's not doing anything with it. Come on, get behind him! Get behind him! Oh, God! Dude, what the f- Oh, I forgot. You can't even do anything about it. God, I forgot the sparking mode allows him to just fuck you up. Come on, get him! Get the fuck out of here! Whatever, we're going all the way up then. Damn it! Why the fuck is he beating the shit out of me? He's not gonna make a mockery of me. I am this... 
I am the Goku. Not really, but I'm gonna fuck you up anyways. Got him. This is gonna make him understand who I am. Yep, that even the playing field a little bit. Makes me the strongest being in the universe. I'm just gonna see if I can spam it again. I can spam it again. Oh hell yeah. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yep. Did I win? My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the universe. Oh, I think I did it. Hold them off and give them everything I've got. But in case I fail, you need to find a way to defeat them. Yeah. Nice. Proficiency went up. Oh shit. Goku Black and Zamasu proceed to overwhelm Goku and Vegeta with their strength. But Trunks gives the heroes a window to flee back into the world of the past. Got a burp. Goku Black and Zamasu fail to catch Trunks and take a brief respite, only to be attacked by the mortal survivors of this world. At that moment, though, Goku Black and Zamasu sense something. Goku and the others are back, as expected. Mm -hmm. So, the curtain rises, and our Act 3 begins. Zamasu and Goku Black destroy the time machine to prevent Goku and the others from returning to their world, driving our heroes further into a corner. It's not good. Our master Goesu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. As a result, mm -hmm. you malefactors have developed time travel. A privilege only meant for the car. Ah, oh, fuck you, you elitist. This machine is the quintessential reason why your kind must be eliminated. Well, it appears they're not listening to you. Mm -hmm. No matter. I'm so intoxicated by the <laughs> I don't care if I have Oh, narcissism. One of the many benefits of being a god. Yep. Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. All right, so we're not going to actually do this second battle. We're going to quit. I just want to give you I just want to give you a glimpse of it. And we're going to finish this off by go ahead and we're going to this is of course the story screen. But I'm going to go ahead and take you into a custom battle. We're not going to actually do it. I just want to show you what they're about. Get a load of this. <laughs> Trunks little artwork. So custom battle allows you to make custom battles. So. Custom battle mode. I want to create one. World library allows you to see ones that people have already made. Of the universe 7 confront the Ginyu force the most powerful Zamasu so like it just allows you to play special things that people have made but let's do this let's uh hit right here and go to bonus battles and see what they have bonus battles allow you to play battles featuring tons of different characters and effects some battles may be locked to first once you complete other bonus battles okay so like here we have master's mentor which is training and challenge. Tell you what, let, let's let's go into it. Let's see what's up. Trunks escapes from the future, ruled by Goku Black. Oh fuck! Hey, Trunks. So being custom. They don't have voice acting for it, especially because people are going to make so many that, yeah, how, how can you, right? So, Goku Black killed everybody, and so now Piccolo is going to help Trunks train. Oh shit, it's game time! Oh! 
All right, so we got to show Piccolo what's up. I love it. Own title and everything. All right, so let's do it. And I'll do it too then. Get wrecked. I can't even do any moves. Can I even do my special move? I can't even do any moves. That's interesting. I don't know if I like that, though. Why can't I do anything? I'm just going to keep whooping that ass. Yeah, you can't escape this Piccolo. I'm just going to keep going at it. I don't know why I can't use any moves, though. I don't like that. Oh, now I can use Lightning Sword Slash. Took a second. All right, let's do it. I love it. Just gonna slice and dice into this. God, it's so cool. Take this. Don't make a sound. Did it hit? Oh, he's really he's really testing the patience though. Can I finally do my ultimate? All right, I can do that. Do I have my ultimate? I do. It's time. Yeah, get ready. Do it. Oh, this is such a good move. Blow it up, dog. Ooh, let's smack those fists. Good, keep it up. Yep, plenty strong. Thank you, Piccolo. Oh, this is in the future land that Gohan's gone. All right, cool. And we did it. We completed the round. Nice. Got some new items. Got some Mooney. I love it. Yeah. So, with that, I gave you a full rundown. I let you see what it's all about. I showed you every single menu. I showed you a couple battles. This is Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and all its everything. There's a ton of characters, a ton of stages. Every character is lore accurate. There is online play, so you can get your ass whooped by people spamming the same characters over and over, as is tradition with fan bases. But yeah, I highly recommend you check this out. It is $70, so keep that in mind. Maybe wait for a sale. It's worth the price of admission, but you gotta be a big enough fan to justify the price. If not, like I said, wait for a sale. Find an aftermarket copy. But until then, you can play it with friends, you can play it online. There is story mode, there are things to unlock, and there's plenty of content coming down the line. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you hate. Let me know if you've played it already. Let me know if you plan to play it. And let me know your favorite thing about Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, the whole universe as a whole and your favorite game from it. And please like, comment, subscribe all together. It all helps the algorithm. And I will see you in the next one.